nice to finally uh, get back uh, on the saddle. It's been three weeks for me. At least my wife was able to ride at least once a week. I've just been uh, lazy. That's the, there's no excuse, just lazy, man. Oh, shit, why did I leave my wife's bike? Yeah, I've just been lazy because it's cold and I don't feel motivated for some reason to ride. Before, it didn't matter if it's cold or if it's raining, I just ride. The weather didn't really bother me. But, but the, the past few months, I've just been, I think I'm getting burnt out. I ride three times a week. I used to ride. Except for this year. This year is three times a week, but I used to ride three to five times a week. Except for this year. Just been lazy. And I don't I have the e-bike and I don't even want to ride the e-bike at all. Even though it's gonna make think the climb easier and just downhill. I don't know what's going on, it's just being lazy. So I uh, started the uh playing around with my remote control car again and uh, you guys are probably gonna see some videos of me on my YouTube messing around with the little tiny remote control cars but uh, my YouTube channel is not really mountain bike channel it's uh, for my hobbies which are mountain biking and uh, my RC so don't be surprised to see those uh, videos there. It's gonna be coming in soon. You just need to have some time to socialize. I've been working from home for the past three years and uh, I need to get out and talk to people, not talk to the camera. <laughs> yeah. Right now we're at the uh, boring trail, but. Um, I just want to get out and ride, that's why we're here. The dirt here is nice, huh? The dirt is nice. It's just right. Man, I like how this bike feels. This feels so good on the climb, what the heck. That's actually one of the reasons why I took the stump jumper today. Because this is uh, an easy trail. I wanted to know if the bike is going to feel like a lot of bike on the climb uh, not so far it feels good on the climb i guess really impressed with the uh that fox Lotex and how this bike feels on the climb stiff it's a good warm-up the trail condition is perfect out here wait wait you want to try it where do you plan to go show me put your bike in there and then the, yeah Okay. Yo, you're not gonna turn the steering wheel like the the handlebar like that. Let me just do it, and then if I fall, just catch me. 
Well, where do you plan on land, landing the front wheel? Here or there? Here. Huh? Here. Here? Yeah. Okay. Here this. Which one? Huh? No, no, no. As long as you're not slow there, but not too fast either. Just stay low. You don't need to move back. Just stay low. Uh, bend your arms. Don't hang around in the back. You're gonna climb here? Yeah, this is great. From here? You're gonna come here straight? You don't think the front tire will slide? Okay, that's a lot of trust, okay. I'll stay back here. Okay? Just stay low so you can move the bike around. Yeah, here you got it. Um, I was overthinking it. I'm scared for you to be doing shit like this without me. But you can, you did it really easy. I, I can't believe you trust your tires like that. On that off camber, it's still wet. It's still wet. Yeah, you do. Yeah, I noticed some corners, it's like uh, your body posture. Don't have the right weight to the front tire, but you do trust the front tire, so that's what's scaring me to change your setup because you got used to those butchers. Oh shit, this bike is fast. Whoa. Man, my, my body posture is like off. It's like off? Yeah, if the bike feels fast, up or down without pedaling. Man, it's only been three weeks. I'm like a, new, a newbie. Yeah, yeah, I, um, you didn't even hesitate. Like you really wanted to do it. And then when you told me, uh, you know, like three weeks ago, mm -hmm. you said that uh, they changed the rock, the boulder, right? Because it looks easy. It does look easy. Remember? But everything happened when I changed the, the setup on the bike. Yeah, I changed your head angle to 64 and a half from 65 and a half. And your handlebar, the back sweep, I uh, turned it towards you more instead of upright. Yeah, you couldn't remember when I did the adjustment, you couldn't tell the difference. But what it did was you have more confidence now. All of a sudden that boulder looks flat. <laughs> Bend your elbows and stay closer to the, to the front. We did 12 miles, 1500 feet. A short ride, short and easy ride. It's just nice to be able to get back out riding. Just no motivation to go out. So yeah, 12 miles, 1500, it's perfect. Hopefully this weekend, I'll have the mot motivation to go out and ride. But I should be able to, because it's going to be warmer. It's like 60 degrees all week. It's been... I'm not going to say chilly, because it's 
not compared to other state. Our cold here is warm in the other state, so chilly for me. Look on the right, make sure there's no one here. And this bike just feels good. It's like a, everything, you know? It's like a, I can climb, descend on it. I want to do a 50 mile on this bike, just like I did on my stump jumper. I know we can do it. It feels so much more efficient than my old stump jumper, to be honest. Yeah. It feels good. And descending, oh yeah, it'll destroy the blue bike for sure. Yeah. Oh yeah. Hands down, this bike will destroy that bike. The Ripmo. Nah, not the Heckler. Not the Heckler. Yeah, I get it. I've been trying to tell you. <laughs> Yeah, the Heckler would be on par with this one. 